Many years ago, elephant seals were hunted for their blubber, which is the fat that keeps them warm. There was only a few seals left when people started protecting them from hunting. Today, elephant seals are making a comeback, and there are thousands of them that live in our oceans. There are only a few places you can see elephant seals, and one of them is Año Nuevo State Reserve in Northern California. Here, the elephant seals come out of the water to mate, have their pups, and shed their old skin. Come join us as we walk with Ranger Frank to see some of the biggest seals in the world. We're going to go out and see the elephant seals today, and it's really remarkable to see such big animals, and we'll be able to see a lot of them. There's as many as 3,000 of them out where we're going to be going today. We'll be seeing some of the pups that are born. We'll be seeing some of the weaned pups and the bulls and the females. And we want to be really careful that we don't disturb the animals because we're just visiting. It's like we're going into their home. But we really can learn a lot, and I really hope that you'll share what you see today with other kids in your classes. OK, you guys, let's go through here. Look at that big bowl in there. Oh, look out here, there's some more bowls up here. Come on with me. How can you tell which is a female and which is a male? Okay, how do you tell the difference between the males and the females? The males are much bigger mm -hmm. and uh, the females are weigh a lot less. And what else is there between the males and the female? What have you seen so far that would let you know that it may be a male? Um, males might have... Um... Have a big nose? Yeah. Yeah, we call it a proboscis sometimes. They have a big nose, don't they? And the females have a much smaller nose. And anything else about the males? You can see they have a chest shield by their heads. You can see that area that looks yeah. like the callus-like so area the on their chest. The, the females don't have a chest shield, just the males. And then when the males do a lot of fighting, sometimes the chest shield will get bloody. Maybe we'll see that later. Sometimes there's some blood. But usually they don't kill each other or really hurt each other. Usually it's until one backs away. Why do they keep uh, throwing sand on their backs? It was really unusual. Yeah, they, they like to flip sand. That's part of being an elephant seal, is flipping sand. And we think they do it more on hot days. So they probably do it to keep cool. And they also do it maybe to protect their skin from the sun, putting some sand on their backs. Out there you can see a pup. See, the pup is black, and it's with the mother, with the female out there. So it looks like the pups turn from black to just a sort of grayish color? They do, yeah. The pups, when they're born, they're black. If you're wearing a black coat, you get hotter. And so the sun comes down on the black, and it absorbs heat. But when they're a big, fat wiener, and they turn silver, then it reflects the light away, and they stay cooler. These are some of the bulls that are not with the females. And they're, they're moving each other around. Look at, look at these guys talk to each other. They're trumpeting to each other and talking about uh, how big they are and how powerful they are and who is stronger than the other bulls. If they're very equal, we may get a fight. Which one do you think is bigger? That one. The one on the right? It's the closest to us. Yeah, I think so, maybe. Well, let's see who wins. The other one may back off. Look at, there he goes backwards. Look how tall they are. They're, pretty, they're taller than you are. They're taller than I am. And we may, they may start, oh, look it. Now see that one in back? He just pulled in his nose. Now he's backing away. He pulled in his nose so he'll look less dominant. And he's trying to get out of there. See the big bull? Look at the alpha. That's the biggest bull right there. The males will have a big group of females, and we call it a harem. 
The male tries to keep all the other males away because he wants to be the father of as many pups as he can. Do the females fight, and when they fight, are they serious? The females do a lot of fighting in the harems, uh, protecting their pups, and they're serious about protecting their pups, but their fights don't get bloody like the males' fights. There's only one pup per female, so they don't have brothers and sisters, but they may all have the same father. Hey, do you see this pup right here? That's a wiener. And a wiener is a pup whose mother has gone out to sea, and he's on his own. A pup gets four weeks worth of milk, gets to nurse for four weeks, then the mother goes away, goes out to sea, because she has to go out and feed. And so this wiener is on its own now, and it's about uh, five or six weeks old. Don't they teach them how to swim or anything? I mean... No, they have to learn on their own. What they get is all that milk, so they get big and fat, and now he has to convert it to muscle. He may be looking for another wean pup to play with. They like to play a lot, and it's important that they play because that helps them to develop their muscles so they can be strong and learn how to swim. So he's probably looking for another wiener to play with. In fact, I see a wiener back behind us. Look back there. See, maybe he's going back to play with that wiener. So maybe we should move over. Sure, let's go back here. Okay, what do we have in front of us here? What do you see there? Well, looks like a bunch of little babies. Like wieners, uh -huh. maybe? Yeah, they're, in fact, you know what we call it? A wiener pod. <laughs> it's a pod of wieners. By getting together in a pod, in a wiener pod, then the big bulls and other animals may stay away from them. So it helps to protect them. By being a group, it looks like they're bigger and it sort of protects them by being together. Look at them there, one scratching himself. Look at with his flipper, he's scratching. They can reach any spot on their body with their flippers. What do they eat? They'll go for a month or two without eating anything. And they'll be going out to sea and eating small fish and skates and rays and squid. Well, I really want to thank you guys for coming out today. It was fun having you here. And I really hope that you'll tell all your friends about elephant seals and what remarkable creatures they are. And I hope you'll come back again. <laughs>